All right then, um, here is the IC2 spot where it used to live. It's now empty. And basically, you see this spot over here in between the switches? That is where this guy goes. This is the module, um, the mod, and it's got double-sided tape on the back side. And according to the instructions I have seen, it is to live right here in this gap on the double-sided tape. Now, we're going to be doing this later on, but um, before, before I actually put this in, I want to have a look at this. Um, see if we can do this without too much craziness. All right. Can we see in here? we can there we are all right if you take a look there is an icon of a chip and this ribbon connector goes to the one two three on one side and then four on the other this little if you take a look there it says uh, solder to IC2 basically <clears throat> this ribbon will take you to IC2 so the idea here is you got one two and then you skip one and then three and then there's the fourth one um, sorry uh, the one to most to the right on the side closest to us those four pins loop over to where IC2 used to be and go in there see so you notice the icon here I've got the little divot there on the back side that's where the chip is and then the divot here now I guess this is basically Marie's way uh, from Kiwi Technics of <clears throat> this is Murray from Kiwi Technics way of putting this whole board somewhere other than having it ride on top like some sort of little daughter card which would probably have a clearance problem so by putting it over here he eliminates that issue and then this ribbon cable will just leap over and plug in to where IC2 used to be and then this uh, cable here of course goes back to the the other assembly, the main board, I believe. So I'm going to uh, take off the double-sided tape and mount this properly. I have, again, I've cleaned up in here with isopropyl alcohol, so it's ready for it. And then I'm going to um, do the soldering job. Uh, we'll, we'll touch base on that very shortly.